Ectochrome. Uh, I just received a shipment of two rolls of Ectochrome yesterday um, after uh, waiting for about two weeks for it to arrive. I thought it might be here earlier, but it wasn't. Uh, finally arrived yesterday, and uh, I'm going to shoot a roll for my vlog today simply because Saba, I think it's Saba. Hi, Saba. Um, really appreciate all your real positive and uh, good feedback and uh, the time you spend taking time to, to put together thoughtful, concise um, opinions of my videos. Really appreciate it. Now, Saba asked me um, if I could. Uh, get a roll of this stuff when it comes out and uh, just shoot it the way I normally do and that's what I'm going to do this morning I'm just going to shoot this roll like I normally do I'm going to shoot this roll on my M6 my Leica M6 simply because I want to give the, the roll um, the, the, the film you know the best camera I've got um, I'm going to put a 28mm Zeiss on there which is probably not my favourite lens for that camera but it's pretty damn close and I have no, absolutely no plan whatsoever as to how this whole thing's going to fold out. I'm just going to shoot this roll. The other thing is I want to get this roll developed as quickly as possible and uh, the lab that I use um, only does E6 on Tuesdays and I have to have it into the lab by 11 a.m. today. It's now 7 a.m. so I've got four, four hours to shoot the roll, shoot my, video, uh, shoot my vlog and get this over to Auckland. It's about an hour's drive so I've got about um, three hours on the vlog, an hour driving to get over there. So um, we better get into it otherwise we're going to run out of time and um, Thankfully the sun is just coming up and uh, we've got some reasonably nice colours here which is good because this is a landscape film apparently. Let's, uh, let's take some shots and already around here I've got some nice scenery, I've got some barns. The um, crops have been planted, they're starting to, starting to grow, I don't know what we've got. Onions by the looks of it, we've got onions over here. So let's get going before the sun gets too glaring and take some shots, come on. In the evening you'll be calling In the evening you'll be calling property here is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just time to take the dogs for a run. Oh really? Were you taking the dogs? Well, I just had a bit of strike of luck. Um, I was just over there taking photographs and a lady pulled into a driveway over here on a farm and um, I just asked her if it was her land and she said yes it was and she recognised me because I, I do a lot of um, photography locally here and I post on Facebook and that and social media and she recognised me so she said um, I asked her if I could just come into the property here and maybe take a few shots. I said no problem. So that was really cool of her. So um, I'm just going to try and walk around this little farm property here. Um, there's just paddocks and stuff, but uh, I'm just going to see if I can find something interesting. Spend about 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes here, and um, hopefully I'll get some kind of nice, nice shots of an area that you can't really get to from the road. So uh, let's go. They're not very trusting unfortunately, so um, the slightest movement you make, they're all over the place.
it's just a beautiful piece of land here, beautifully well kept, um, and uh, it's quite beautiful here this morning. And I'm just quite fascinated with all these cattle here. Take a look at them. Quite cool, that's a bit of New Zealand for you. Almost up at the end of the driver now. I've got this. I've got this barn behind me here, and um, it's kind of quaint. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a picture of this. I'm gonna go out in the field here and uh, take a shot of it. One of the things that's difficult when you're doing your vlog and um, trying to be a photographer at the same time is trying to see. And um, hopefully, most of you will understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about seeing. Um, Pictures, you know, you, you kind of have to, you know, be focused on what you're doing. So it's a bit difficult to try and do both, to vlog and to, to take pictures. And um, I really tip my hat to the people that can do that successfully and to um, be able to capture something quite beautiful uh, in a photography sense and also record that. What's well, my 36 frames? Um, and I've got about an hour to spare. It's only taking me about an hour to do my vlog this morning, which is really cool. It's, um, as you can hear, the cows behind me. Um, I'm going to head up to Auckland. I'm going to stop and drop my film off at a place called The Black and White Box. And a guy called Lorenzo there has kindly um, agreed to help me rush this film through so I can get it to you guys so you guys can see it on the vlog and uh, make up your mind about what you think about Ectochrome. And uh, hopefully, I've done a reasonable job of taking some pictures this morning. Like I said, nothing fantastic. I'm not guarantee, uh, guarantee anything. Uh, it's been pretty rushed and I've just been trying to get some pictures, uh, make the most of the light here. And, but hopefully I've got something that will be okay and um, worthwhile for you to make an assumption on what you're seeing about this, um, this new film. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going. I've got about an hour's drive up to Auckland. Hopefully there's not too much traffic. I'm going to leave the tranquility of the Franklin area and uh, this beautiful farm and I'm going to get the film developed. So um, I'll see you when I get there. So I just got up to the black and white box. I'm just going to drop my film off here and uh, hopefully we'll get it, um, get it developed in the next, within the next 24 hours. Lorenzo here is going to help me out and get it uh, get it developed and scanned pretty quickly, which is really awesome. I'm just going to have a look inside and just uh, check this place out. If you're up in Auckland or if you're in New Zealand, um, awesome place to go to get your film developed and scanned. Ripples would make you 
all about the things that we share. Marry me, marry me when the lights go out. You know I'll be there. I thought of you, hoping that the ripples. Well, firstly, before I start, just apologies. The images weren't great. Uh, I, I realised that, and when I was shooting this vlog, I kind of alluded to that. I had to get this out quickly, and I wasn't very proud of the, the pictures I've got. Having said that, uh, I think I've got a few pictures here that kind of give you a fairly good idea about the film and its capabilities. Um, so hopefully you have gleaned something from this episode. Okay, my feelings on the film, personally. Um, not overly impressed. A couple of things that I... That I you know, I just didn't get a, a buy from it. Um, some nice colours, yes. But ultimately, I, I, when I look at it, I can't really see what I'm gaining from a film like this compared to shooting digital. If I'm going to, you know, a fine grain um, slide film uh, versus digital, I, I just can't see there's, there's a big gap between that. I can't see the advantages of shooting it um, using a colour film like this versus using um, just a digital camera. Um, I've got a, a real strong philosophy. I love film, I love film photography, um, but I see myself as a black and white film photographer. And um, for me, you know, uh, I've got a theory, I've got a, I've got, I've got a, um, you know, um, a rule that I work to. If I'm gonna shoot black and white, I shoot it with film. Um, because I believe that shooting black and white, the only way to do it is to, is, 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 is to do it on film. You just don't get the same end product on digital. I just don't agree with the whole process of shooting digital and uh, converting that to black and white. Don't agree with it. And I kind of feel the same way with colour. Um, I don't see, you know, and I, I don't want to be too controversial on this, but I, I don't see the real advantage of uh, shooting colour film when I can use digital. Uh, and especially with a film like this, because, you know, fine, I just don't see that there's a, there's a big difference. And, um, you know, um, the flexibility I get from a digital camera is far greater. Dynamic range, everything. You know, I'm going to get that from a camera. And there's a few shots that I took um, in this vlog that if I'd used a digital camera, I think my results would be far better. Um, now, I want to preface that by saying that, you know, my experience with uh, colour film is, is nearly zero. Uh, this is the second roll of colour um, slide film I've ever shot. Um, so, obviously, if you've got experience with slide film, uh, then you know your results are going to be far different from what I've achieved today. Um, so, you know that is a key point and um, um, something that needs to be noted. So, if you're shooting color film and you 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 experience with it, then the outcome might be different. Um, what I thought I'd do um, because I think I didn't really give this film a fair shot to to really um, to shine. Uh, again, I was rushing through my pictures. I wasn't really you know um, metering. As well as I could have. Um, so what I was going to do is um, possibly the next episode, or if it's not the next episode, it'll be the episode after. I'm going to do like a, a side by side comparison. I'm going to take the M8 out for a, for a photo shoot, and I'm going to load up the M6, the Leica M6, with a roll of Victor Chrome, and I'm going to just shoot them side by side, and I'm going to compare my results and um, give you a really straight up opinion of where. Um, I stand with film versus digital, and especially this film. Um, and also, when I do it, I'm going to just f solely focus on the photography. I'm not going to film my vlog. I'm not going to film me shooting these pictures. I'm just going to go out and shoot them, and then I'm going to present to you the results. So I'll do that in the next couple of weeks. Um, so stay tuned for that, and um, I think um, it'll be interesting. So I've, I've already had experience shooting one roll, and I'll shoot the second roll differently. So that's coming up. Um, just one other quick thing um, that I did notice with the film, and um, Lorenzo um, did some scans for me, and you know uh, the highlights on this film was, was kind of blown right out. Now I don't know that's if that's because of the the process that he's used, 
uh, hair scan film for me before, uh, and the, the results were fantastic. The highlights on this stuff was kind of just just gone really. And um, speaking to him, he said he had to kind of like um, expose it um, for the subject matter. And, and in the case of a couple of these shots, you know, that was in the shadows, um, so he lost everything pretty much in the highlights. Um, he did some rescans for me on a flatbed, and they were definitely better. Um, so yeah, another thing I take away from this is that scanning slide film uh, doesn't seem to be the easiest and I'd be very interested to get some feedback and some advice from you guys uh, if you could just on what you've experienced with slide film and, and scanning it and what the best way it is to do that and um, you know um, how am I going to get the best results from doing that. So interested in hearing about that. Well that's about it. On the episode, um, just before I go, I just want a couple of, couple of, uh, a couple of quick things. Firstly, uh, print for this week. This is the print for this week. This is, um, I'm offering this as a normal print, and I'm also going to offer it as a frame print. Uh, this is from an episode that I recorded a couple of weeks ago, uh, Uki, uh, part of my portrayal series. If you want to go and check that video out, check the link up here give you some more information on this print and uh, the process. Taken on my Leica M6, uh, Fuji Acros, and um, and uh, yeah, it was a cool episode and I enjoyed doing it, so that's this week's print. Uh, if you want to find out more about the print, like I said, go and check out the link, and also um, more about the print itself, go and check out my website, link below for that. Um, if you want to support my channel, this is the way you can do it. I'm not here to sell you anything or back um, camera brands or products and stuff like that this is the sole way at the moment that you can support my channel and keep me going um, another quick couple of things uh, just a couple of thank yous this week obviously for Lorenzo at the black and white box thank you mate for just putting that stuff out as quickly as you did and uh, working a bit late to scan that stuff and get it to me I really appreciate it and if you, you are in New Zealand and you need food uh, film processing um, check out the black and white box, they did a great job, uh, link below uh, to those guys, um, and thanks again Lorenzo. Um, another thank you to Awesome Cameras, the uh, YouTube channel, uh, these guys have been giving me some love over the last month or so, uh, and pointing people towards my channel, and saying nice things about my videos, I really appreciate it, um, I appreciate that. And uh, one of the cool things about doing this vlog is just getting involved in the community, and particularly the film photography community. Um, we're a small group and we're a small band, I guess, uh, compared to the bigger picture. Um, and it's nice to be able to just kind of like, uh, you know, keep on, you know, keeping this whole film thing alive and supporting other people are doing it. So guys, uh, at the Awesome Cameras uh, YouTube channel, thank you very much. Um, go and check out their channel, uh, link below for their channel. Um, and you know, make sure you go and check them out. They're doing heaps of cool stuff for film photography and keeping the whole thing alive. So. Check them out. Um, that's it for this week. Uh, I've got a couple of portrayals coming. I'm working hard on stuff behind the scenes here, on some stuff, uh, some more in-depth stuff on the portrayal series. Uh, if you want to go and check out a few vlogs that I've done on the, on portrayals and more kind of story-like uh, episodes, go and check out the link here. There's a playlist for those episodes. Um, check those out. I'm working on more of those. Um, like I said, we're going to take out the Leica M8 with the Leica M6, do some more ectochrome. That's coming up in the next few weeks. Um, stay tuned. Until next time, please take care, come back again, and uh, hare from New Zealand, goodbye and thank you.